Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is my first time herping out in a minute. And uh, it's many, many hours away from home. I'm in search of some rare salamanders, uh, northern dusky salamanders. However, I'm kind of, I'll be happy if I find anything. Because I don't know where, I didn't know where to go, and I don't know what I'm doing. But let's see if we'll find anything. Let's see if I can flip this on camera. Oh, I can. But there's a whole lot of nothing. These look like nice logs. I'm thinking perhaps I should get closer to uh, some vernal pools that I saw. Probably in my best interest. That's just broke. Well, I just found the first herp of the trip. A little wood frog. He was just out jumping around. This is a very good sign though. These aren't, these are probably one of the more common, uncommon species that I find. I always love finding these guys. I love wood frogs. They're one of my favorites. But I've never seen them bigger than this size before. As a matter of fact, this might be the biggest one I've ever seen. Uh, but it really cool that I found this. He was just out on the crawl. He just was jumping across the trail. But uh, I'm going to help him on his journey. There he goes. All right. Here we have two... Eastern redback salamanders. Wonderful. Although we find these guys a lot at home, it's still cool that I'm finding anything. Alrighty. And there they can go back to their home. I love the scenery out here. It's just beautiful. I wish I had something like this closer to home. Oops. <laughs> that just broke. Bro. Oh, well, would you look at that? Little red back right there. Let me see if I can get him out. Yep, there we go. Another little red back. But we see these all the time at home. So I'm not going to stay on him very long. Oh my god, something just pricked me. It hurt. I'm going to go try get, getting closer to some vernal pools. Well, here's a nice stream where you would expect to find. Northern dusky salamanders. I'm sure I could find crayfish in here. Saw a few frogs jump in. I just really wish I had a dip net right now. There's some small fish in the stream. Not sure what they are, but something. <laughs> All right, here we go. Another little red back. I feel like the red backs over here have much fuller red backs. I haven't seen a lead back yet. But, uh, there he goes. All right, let's try flipping this. Nothing. And C2 green frog. I'm going to try and get him, but I don't have high hopes. Here we have yet another wood frog that was just out on the crawl, jumping around. Pretty cool. I'm not seeing much, not gonna lie. It's a little discouraging, but whatever. It's cool to be in a new place. And hey, I mean, I'm finding wood frogs. I don't find those all the time, but I'll let him continue jumping around aimlessly. In the spark, I just found another redback. He can go though. If you look right there, you'll see a crayfish claw that got detached. So there are crayfish, and there's one right there coming out of a burrow. Oh, look at that. That's really cool. I wonder what type of crayfish these are. That's really cool. No chance I can grab them. Look at that, that is so cool. Ooh, lost him there. Well, I'd love to spend more time with this dude, but I wanna get 
I want to be able to find something cool that I can get in hand. <laughs> well, he came out of his burrow a little bit more as I was walking away. Oh. Yeah, I'm just going to leave this guy alone. Well, I switched up a little bit. I went back to where I f first was and found another little wood frog. Now two very, very young wood frogs. Oh, one just jumped away. Probably recently metamorphed. But, uh... I'm gonna just let these guys go. And I'm gonna flip this. Nothing. Bro. Oh, oh. There's another one. Where? Look at this. What are those groundhogs? It's just now crossing my mind that. Well, maybe it's just too hot outside for salamanders right now. I don't know how hot it is exactly right now, but uh, I know that, that the high was like 78 for today. Now it's probably too late for me to go uh, look for anything else, so I guess I'm just going to have to stay here until my time here is up. That's interesting. I low-key kind of want to crawl out on that. I'm on top of the log. The fallen tree. It's a little bit of a ways down. This is just so cool looking. I'm not finding a whole lot, but I mean, all this scenery just looks incredible. I always wanted to see a creek or stream like this. It's beautiful. Oh. God, I can't see anything. I just missed a dusky salamander. That really sucks. I went to go flip this little log right here. Because I thought, wow. That looks like it would have something under it. And, well, it was a little bit gripped to the ground. So, it uh, slipped the first time I flipped it. And a little dusky salamander zipped right over there under those roots. Oh well. Nothing I can do about it. I got one. I freaking got one. That, ladies and gentlemen, is one of, if not the rarest salamanders in Michigan. That is my lifer dusky, northern dusky salamander. I just got him under a rock. Very bland looking. He's a little guy. Oh my god, I, I'm like, my heart is pacing right now. This is incredible. This is such a moment for me. I, I don't know what to do. Let me, let me pose him somewhere. Well, finally got an in-hand crayfish. Not much to look at. So, I'm going to just let him go. There he is. I present to you guys the tiniest of salamanders. That is a northern dusky salamander. And my god, is it a tiny one. I'm gonna put him back under his little cinder block. <sighs> Now let's try out some of this stuff right next to him. Oh, even if there was something, I'm not going to get.